Al Gore ruined my life. After I watched Inconvenient Truth, it really became an inconvenient moment for me because I thought about the Thanksgiving dinner in 30 years and the conversation around the table about grandpas. What was your grandpa doing in 2005? So, in the presence of that, I thought, what can I promise the children? What can I promise the grandchildren? And although I'm not clear that anyone can make a difference at this point, I'm certainly not going to give up the possibility of making a difference. It's very beautiful. It's like modern architecture, but still Balinese style, old, old, mixed with new. I get sick from ACs, and there's no AC. I like it because there are lots, there's lots of nature, and it's really fun. We like it a lot because yes. it um, isn't, isn't a concrete building and when the wind comes you can get feel it, feel it. I just, I think it's really cool. I mean, I would have never thought that schools could be like this. I see it as my responsibility to ensure that whenever any children leave this school at whatever age, but if they were to leave us at 16, that they would leave here with a green school master key and I would see that key enabling the children to, uh, to open any door to whichever future they would like to go into. So the curriculum has three main drivers to it. So there's the essential subjects, um, the English, maths and science, which has to be taught in a continuum from the youngest children all the way through to pre-university level. Second driver is a green studies curriculum. So this is designed, homemade, custom designed for us. And this takes nature study, evolving into ecological studies, to environment studies, to sustainability studies. Again, in a continuum. And it's a hands-on, mud-between-your-toes approach uh, to greening. And then the third driver is the creative arts. And this is taking advantage of our geographical and cultural influences um, around us, the artistic influences. And our aim is to get those three drivers in balance. And once we've got that, we can um, open the doors for these young people going forward um, and not close doors into conventional education. Three, what do you think is the largest diameter of a tree in the world? for kids all around the world to have the opportunity that I do to be here in Bali and to go to this beautiful school is a huge gift. I like the, the people, I like the education, and I like to be aware of what's going on in the world. In local school, we have just study and study just, and in, in here, we just do it and learn it. I'm so glad I'm going to Korean school because for Last year, my, ling my English is not really good, uh, and now it's like, yeah! Okay. This school is about providing a space in which children can explore themselves within having a very fine, universal curriculum that, that leads to wonderful colleges and universities if that's where the child's going to go. Not every child will, nor will every child be, end up being a gardener here, or a permaculturist, or even perhaps even interested in green studies. But what they'll have is, I know how to live here on Earth in a sustainable way, and they'll take it up in whatever way they can. What they'll have is a meaningful education that speaks to them as an individual and allows them to offer their gifts in the world. What could be better than that? 
I'm a risk taker, but I'm not willing to put my kids in a high school situation where they can't go to college afterwards. And, you know, that's, that's going to be the success of green school, is, is providing a curriculum that lets kids choose Oxford, that lets kids choose a life of activism, that lets kids choose whatever they want to do and doesn't limit them. So, green school is, is going to be a zone. It's really a, a, a seed, a sprout. The dream is to have it become a model, a small model community focused on green, focused on conservation, focused on green living. And the school has a mission as well. We are dreaming of making a green vortex here, a vortex that will take children, imprint them with green, and when they spin out at the top of the high school, they will go on to universities around the world. And the Balinese members of that group, we dream, will come back to Bali and become green leaders because leadership is one of the most important ways into the future.